and welcome to the Application Delivery How-To Series. My name is Chris Kreiss and I'm a Solutions Architect with VMware. Today what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to use the host rule CRD to configure advanced layer 7 features in either a Kubernetes or OpenShift environment. And so what is the host rule CRD? Um, so the host rule CRD is a feature that comes with the AKO operator and uh, fundamentally, what it allows us to do is it allows us to extend Kubernetes ingress or OpenShift route types uh, with advanced features. And these features are sort of features that are available on the AVI controller today, things like application profiles, analytics profiles, data scripts, things of that nature. And we can extend your usual ingress or your usual route type with these features to um, ensure application delivery is as efficient and as good as possible. How it works is within the um, CRD itself, we'll have a virtual host, FQDN, which is here. You can see here it's vib1.local.avi.com. And this will correlate directly to the um, to the ingress FUQDN host that you've defined in your actual ingress YAML file or even in your OpenShift route type. And the host will CRD, what it does is it actually works on the front end of the application. So anything on AVI that is configured on the virtual service screen, um, as I say, things like application profiles, analytics profiles, SSL, that type of thing, that is configured by the host will CRD. Um, any profiles that we're going to reference, they're actually pre-created on the AVI controller before the host rule CRD is deployed. Um, and a couple of other things to note as well is um, today um, with SNI-based ingresses or AVI working in S uh, AKO working in SNI mode, HTTPS ingress or service route types are supported. However, with advanced virtual hosting or EVH, HTTP and HTTPS are both supported. And over on the right there, you can sort of give an idea, and we're actually going to deploy this host rule in the demo in a second, but you can get an idea of the, the type of things that we do support via the host rule. Um, one of the key features is that we're actually able to um, reference an SSL key and certificate um, from within the host rule. So what this means is that I don't have to have my certificate in Kubernetes anymore. I can actually have my certificate on the AVI controller. Um, I can reference WAF policies. I can reference application profiles, analytics profiles, HTTP policies, and even data scripts. And uh, more and more features are being added as uh, the host rule progresses. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, move over to the demo. And just to see in, in person how, how the host rule can be applied to a particular ingress. Um, and um, sort of the capabilities that it has. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this first virtual service here, this vit1.local.avi.com. And as you can see, um, it's pretty much a bare bones ingress. Um, it's uh, secure. We've actually got a Kubernetes secret, but we're using the default profile. We've got no WAF policy, no error page profile, um, and uh, the default system analytics profile. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to come over to my CLI and I'm actually going to apply that host rule to the, the one that we looked at on the slide. I'm going to apply that to the virtual service and you can see that it has been created. Uh, a key thing to note is that we can do a, um, a get host rule command and that will just tell you um, if the host rule has been accepted or not. Um, so a very useful command if, you, if you're seeing, not seeing the changes on the UI, the AVI UI, do a get host rule, look at the host rule, and this is me here, fit1.local.avi.com, and I see I've accepted. Um, if it hasn't worked, it'll say rejected. If you describe it, it'll tell you why. So what does that look like in the controller? So on the controller, I can automatically see that I have a WAF profile applied. You can tell that via the circle and the shield. Um, come into the uh, configuration. Uh, we can see that I've configured an application profile, the WAF policy previously mentioned, the error page profile is now a custom error page profile. And you can also notice that my SSL key and certificate have changed, very useful indeed. So now this certificate is one that was pre-uploaded onto the controller, and I'm referencing that. And this means, again, that my certificates don't have to be in Kubernetes. Um, I've come look at analytics. You can see my analytics profile has changed. And then on the policies tab, I can look at uh, the policy I set, and that was actually an HTTP security policy. And I can see my new policy is there. And it's just a very simple rule saying, hey, if the client IP is in this range, then close the connection. Um, so I hope you can see that the host rule CRD is um, incredibly useful. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out other videos in the application delivery how-to series. Thank you. Goodbye.